You've had this movie that you made, The Comeback Trail. Yes, sir. And because of COVID, it keeps, it, it got pushed to next year, as a lot of movies have. Yeah. This is a very big project for you because you got to work with one of your all-time heroes, and think a lot of people's all-time hero, Robert De Niro. Yeah, Conan, this is what this is how COVID uh, extra um, effed me up, is that I had one of the biggest breaks of my life in that I got cast as a lead with Robert De Niro in a giant comedy directed and written by George Gallo, who made Midnight Run, one of my favorites. Yep, yep. And I didn't even audition. They offered it to me. I was like, but wait a minute, it's a big part. Like I'm on every page. And they were like, yeah, the, the De Niro and, and George want you for it. So I go down there, we shoot it in Albuquerque. I'm, it's literally me and De Niro in every scene. We play- it's fantastic, uh, yeah. Play, uh, movie producers who, uh, uh, who uh, are, are just the worst movie producers. And, um, and, and then COVID hits and now it's not coming out until next year. It'll come out, but I was so excited. I mean, this is just a still from the movie, but this is you in bed <laughs> yeah. with Robert De Niro. Yeah. And it's like, it's clear that you guys have, I mean, there's no way you didn't get intimately close with this man. He became very close. And I had to, I would, I would, I'm not exaggerating that I would, because I love him so much. And I would go in, in my trailer in the mirror, I would give myself pep talks. I would be like, you need to go into this scene because I'd have scenes where I'm screaming at him, I'm like slapping him across the face, and we're like, and I, I would just give myself a pep talk, like this is just a normal actor. This is not the most legendary hero that you have, right, right. <laughs> and, and so because I knew that if I if I was intimidated, I would suck. So I had to like every scene, I would give myself this like mental like you got this, and that worked out. Yeah, it was great. You know, he's very shy. A lot of people don't know this about him, but he's. But, you know, when he's not in character, they call cut and he's kind of like, you know, a quiet guy. He goes back to his chair and right. then he, they go, OK, Bob, we're ready. And he comes to set and he's kind of quiet. And then they yell action and he goes full amazing De Niro. But he's, he's pretty soft spoken. But little by little, we became um, we became closer and I made it to texting status, which was thrilling. We just texted you're, the other day. You text now with Robert De Niro? Just, and Bobby D are text buddies. Sometimes he calls me out of the blue because I, I, you know, when you get like, um, you know, when you get um, uh, a no caller ID and you're like, I'm not going to answer that. Who the hell could that be? Right. But now I know that it potentially is Bob De Niro. So now I always answer it. Of course, nine times out of 10, it's a cold caller, but one out of 10 times, Conan, it's Bob just saying hi. Do you have a special voice? Cause sometimes I pick up the phone when it says no caller ID, I take a chance, but I don't use my voice. Yes. Yeah. A tough guy voice. It's like, yeah. What? Hello? I do a uh, crazy over the top Italian guy. Oh, what do you want from me? And um, Remember the Eddie Murphy bit in, um, I'm sorry, I have a horrible Eddie Murphy impression, but when he, on, uh, on SNL, when he'd go, this is how you answer the door in my neighborhood. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. I that, that, that I don't think that was a terrible Eddie Murphy impression. Well, I just um, always laughed at that. That's how, that was that's what I channel when I when I answer the no caller ID. Hello. 